zoom and you can yourself see the densities in the region of the parenchyma and this is the transverse section of the kidney. Just concentrate on the densities at well. Even on transfer section you can see the density is below the capsule in the region of the cortex. So in this kidney we see a cyst, simple cyst in the cortical region with multiple numerous uh, uncountable densities in the parenchyma and minimal dilated calluses all the calluses at the upper region, mid region and lower pole region with the calculus, this is the calculus, this is the cyst and these are the densities I am talking about. So this is a typical picture of a medullary sponge kidney. So this right kidney does show changes of medullary sponge kidney. Now we move to the left side. Curvature algemeria. Because this is usually a bilateral condition. So let's see the status of the left kidney as well. First, let's measure it. Measure 9.6 centimeters in length and 3.9 centimeters in anterior posterior diameter. The dimensions are normal. This is the outer surface, this is the parenchyma, and you can see that the ecogenicity of the parenchyma is more as compared to that of the spleen anteriorly. These are tiny cystic areas representative of pyramids combining which are and the pyramids lie in the medulla combining medulla and the cortex we get a uh, measurement of approximately 9.4 to here this is the correct one 8.8 8.5 millimeters Now you see there are again densities, multiple numerous densities seen in the cortical region. Here, concentrate on this, 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 this area. Here you can see the number of densities here. These are all densities tiny not shadowing densities with a cyst at the lower pole this is the cyst at the lower pole now note the densities these are all densities there is another cystic area at the upper core region. So there are cysts and there are calcification. This is the central sinus echo complex. I don't see any dilation of the calluses or fluid in the calluses. This is a tiny calcification giving posterior shadow, measuring approximately 4.4 millimeters. So this is the long axis of the left kidney and this is also consistent, its findings are consistent with medullary spawn kidney. If you see the cortical region, the densities, bright, tiny densities within the parenchyma, 
we can see two calculi within the collecting system, this one and this one giving posterior shadow. In transfer section, now it will be more clear to see the densities. Note these densities, these tiny densities. This is the transfer section, left renal vein. <coughs> No dilation of the calluses and C with the term maneuvering, just exposing the cortex to you. Count the number of densities, you will not be able to count them, there are so many in number. Ek lamba sa sa logo, lamba sa laike sa logo, lamba sa logo. Sarji lamba sa la ke sa rupu. I say. Here you see lot of densities. Cortical densities with cis and calculi are the findings in the normal sized kidney with bright, slightly bright ecogenic cortical cortex compared to the subclinic parenchyma. Now these are typical findings of medullary sponge kidney, the causes of which are usually sarcoidosis, tuberculosis, renal tubular acidosis, milk alkali syndrome, it can be idiopathic. So this is a medullary sponge kidney. In all such patients, we must see the thyroid gland for any parathyroid pathology. Thank you.